Hi everyone, I'm Miss Post at MHS, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Sora. Sora is our digital library. It's owned by Overdrive, so you might hear it referred to as both Sora and Overdrive. Um, this is a separate library than what you will see in any of your campus libraries, and it's going to consist of ebooks and audiobooks. Um, so, on your library's homepage, under the Read column, that's where you're going to find Sora or Overdrive. The button is either going to look like this, or it's going to be an O for Overdrive, but it'll be the second, the second icon down under Read. Um, the password for Sora, your username and password, is going to be your Active Directory login. So that's what you use to log into your uh, district laptop. If you ever forget that, then the password chart for your campus will, will remind you. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Sora. When it comes up, you're going to select that your school is MISD. This is one digital library for the whole district. And remember, you're going to use your Active Directory to log in. Now, it is going to take a while to log in, so don't be freaked out when you see the wheels spinning forever. Okay, so it's going to pop up to your personal home screen, and if you want to explore and check out books, then you're going to click on Explore at the bottom. Now remember, this is a district library, so there's going to be books in here for elementary students, middle grade, high school, and then a few adult selections that are high school appropriate. So it's going to show you um, the books that are appropriate for your age level. So if you're in middle school, you'll be able to see elementary level and middle school or juvenile level books. If you're at the high school level, then you can see all the books that we have in this library and check out whatever you want. Um, you do have preferences over here. So you can see that I had my preferences set to audiobooks only. Now I'm going to change it to any. You can have it show you all the books that we have in our collection or only the books that are available for checkout. So if you're looking for a book to check out right now, then you might come in and select available books. If you select everything, you're also going to be able to see the books that are currently checked out. But I'll show you how to place a hold for those books so that you can get them as soon as they're back in. You can change how you have it sort the books. So if you want the book sorted by title, you can select that. The format, audiobooks or ebooks. Language, we do have some Spanish books. So if you only want Spanish books, then you can select that one. Audience, you can filter um, if you only want juvenile or if you want young adult or adult, if you're at the high school level. And don't forget to apply your preferences after you make changes. Um, so you can see there's collections over here. All of these books on, on this Explore screen are kind of divided up by different collections. So you have scary stories. Um, you've got some popular subjects here. Romance, sports, science fiction, realistic chick lit. So you can browse through the different genres that you're interested in. I'm going to click on realistic fiction, and I'm going to show you how to borrow a book. So this book right here, you can see it's available because it says borrow. You can read a sample or you can add it to a list. If you're making a list of books that you want to read at some future date, then the list option is going to be what you want. But to borrow it, you just click on the blue borrow and it's going to open up the book. I've checked this one out before, so that's why I'm in the middle of the book, but it'll pop you up on the, the front, on the book cover. You can change the layout, so if you, you can have two pages side by side, or you can just look at one page at once. Um, and then you can change some things about how it looks to you. So whatever is more friendly for your eyes, you have some options there. You can also change the font. Um, Open Dyslexic is going to be a font that's more friendly to, to those that have dyslexia. Um, it might make it easier for you to read. And there's some things that you can custom. And you can always go back to the publisher's default anytime you want. This is pretty cool right here. If you like to 
read on multiple devices. So sometimes you read on your laptop in your browser, other times you read through the app on your phone. As long as you're connected to Wi-Fi, it will sync to the last page that you are at. So it makes going between devices really, really easy. Um, you have different options. So it'll tell you that when your book is due, you don't have to worry about that because the book will disappear when that due date comes. Um, but if you're in the middle of it and you know that it's due in a day or two, you can try to renew it here. If you're done with it earlier than the due date and you just want to get it out of your bookshelf, then you can return it. Um, you have some other options and a synopsis down there. I'm going to go ahead and return it so you can see how that's done. You just click return and you don't see it in your library anymore. So if I want to do an audiobook, you can tell that it's an audiobook by the headphones. You can also change your preferences and select audiobooks only. But I'm going to show you what an audiobook looks like. So if we borrow this one, it's going to come up like this. Just like with the ebook, you can sync it if you're going to be listening across multiple devices. You can um, speed up the reading pace or you can slow it down. And you can set a timer. If you just want the audiobook to play for 30 minutes, then you set that timer and it'll shut off after 30 minutes. So when we go back to our shelf, you can see there's that book that I just checked out. And if I click on it, it's going to take me to those same options that we saw with the ebook. Renew, return, mark is done, add to a list, whatever. And lastly, I'm going to show you how to put a hold on something. So I'm going to search for a book that I know is checked out. Okay, so when I did my search, it pulled up different books, you can see that these are all open to borrow, but this one is already checked out. So you have the option to place a hold. Okay, so it tells you that it's gonna be about two weeks. You placed your hold on this date. If you want to modify that, you can edit your hold, like you can freeze it, you can cancel it, you can add it to a list, whatever. You come down here, if it's a book in a series, it's going to tell you the order of the books in the series, and so on. And it tells you like where your place in line is. So that is OverDrive. Um, if you have any questions or if you're having trouble getting logged in, then please contact your campus librarian. All right, thank you.